Morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jules Merviel. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer and Co-Founder of Augury. Um, before we talk about data this morning, allow me to introduce the company just a bit. So Augury is a technology company specialized in mobile journey marketing. Uh, it's technology integrated into more than 10,000 apps today. We've got access to 400, more than 400 million uh, unique profiles worldwide. You know, see a bit later in the presentation what it means for us. Of course, our solution is 100% GDPR compliant. It means that all the data we have access to is um, consented data. All the users accepted to share the data with us. Um, our uh, technology, our company, is today trusted by more than 900 brands, global brands all around the world. And in 2018, we made a bit more than $100 million in revenue for our fourth year uh, of existence. We have offices a bit everywhere in the world. Um, our biggest market is now by far the US market, but we started here in London. And we've got offices a bit everywhere in Europe. The offices that we have in uh, Eastern Europe, it's just for engineers. Uh, but the other offices are, of course, uh, sales offices, where we work with brands and developers. We are a bit more than 340 employees in the world in eight countries. So this is just to explain about the company, but what do we do exactly? So we have access to data that the publishers can't see. So basically today, your usual analytics tool, uh, analytics platform is the left-hand side of the slide. You see what happens in your games. You've got quite a good understanding of what your users do in your games, what we can get access to and what we can share with the app developers we work with is the entire user journey, everything that happens on the phone, the apps that are installed and installed, the apps that are used, the websites that are browsed. It means that we've got access to all this data and that we can leverage this data in three different ways, which we are going to see today. First way to leverage the unique, this unique data that we have access to is to optimize the ad revenue and the ad relevance for the ad networks you work with. Basically, what we know at Auguri is the, how heavy a user can be. A user can be quite a hardcore user in your game, a heavy user, but maybe he doesn't have any other games installed on his phone. So that's the kind of, access, uh, kind of data we have access to. So we can define the profiles of the users. Do they use more hyper-casual games or more mid-core games? games do they have installed on their phones? Do they spend? in the games they play with. This is the kind of data that we have, and it allows us to better understand the users and to be more relevant when we optimize the revenue. This is just an example of what happens with our monetization technology. So you see that when we receive an ad request, we put in competition all the players of the markets, including the players that are um, RTB players, where the bid is in the request, that have put a price on the impression, so they say, I'm ready to pay this amount for this impression, but also the performance at networks, who are going only to pay after the conversion happens. Okay, so our algorithm is able to predict, and these are just examples, okay, it doesn't mean that one is better than the other, but this is just an example to illustrate how we work. So we can predict the CPM, that we, we, are, we are going to get for each user, even from performance ad networks. And this is based on the data that we have. So historical data, of course, on all the campaigns and all the um, information that we have on the past impressions that we served, but also based on the behavior of the users. And this is accurate in the prediction that we make for the revenue. And it allows you as a publisher, as a game developer, to really uh, get the most of inch impression and make sure that even that you can put in competition RTB players with performance players and make sure that you've got the highest revenue possible for each impression. Okay, this is based on the, again, on the unique uh, data that we have on all the users. And this is what allows us to achieve great results. This is just a slide just to illustrate um, how it worked for a publisher called eSchool, that's a, a game publisher. Um, that has several uh, kinds of games, including card games and um, world games. Um, the ARP DU increased by 31%, and you can see that, uh, of course, when the ARP DU is higher, you can invest more, so the revenue increase um, 
uh, in this case, increased by, um, has been multiplied by three. So this is the first way to leverage the unique data that we have at Augury and that you can get access to by working with Augury is to, again, to match the behavior of the users with the right ad network and make sure that you put the right ads and the right ad networks in front of each user. The second way is for sure is for you to understand better your users and your competition. We've got a platform called Active Insight. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. What you can access, get access to if you log in on the platform that is, that is free for, for all the uh, app developers. You can understand in every app in the market the activity of the users. So again, not just your users, but any app of your competition, you can understand how much time they spend in the app, how many sessions, the time per session, and everything. And this is based on the um, anonymous data that we have and unique data that we have at Ogury. And this allows you to put uh, your figures in front of your direct competitors to really understand if you're doing well, better, or not as good as your direct competitors. This is a second um, example, and we've got, uh, of course, uh, many, many screens in this, in this tool called uh, Active Insight. This shows um, where your users or where the users of a specific app are coming from. Okay, you compare two apps here, and you see if uh, the users are coming from the other apps, or if there are new users of those two apps. So you can clearly understand better the churn of your users. Did they leave your app because they stopped playing, or did they leave your app because they started to play another game? And this allows you to understand and to extract this data, because you can extract the data from the active uh, insight platform to re-engage with the users at the moment where they are actually about to leave to start playing another game through CRM. But you can also decide, for example, to stop advertising for a direct competitor. If you see that 60% of your users are actually leaving your game to start playing another game, Maybe it's time to maybe just limit or reduce the exposition that your users get to the ads of this direct competitor. So this is just an example of the many ways you can leverage the unique data to better understand the market. You see the behavior outside of your app. So you understand your users outside of your app. So it's much more powerful than a direct uh, than, um, an analytics tool, the standard ones. You can understand the factors that lead to churn. Okay, and you can export that to retarget the audience segments from your users. Okay, so based again on what happens outside of your game. So it's not just segmentation based on the, the users that pass the level one or two or whatever happens in your game. It's based on what happens outside of your games. So this is really unique to what we can offer to, to the market. The third way to leverage Data is something I think is very uh, powerful for all game developers, is that we can attract brands when we understand the users better. We all know that the uh, game industry is booming. This is coming from Newzoo, but I mean, we all know that are everywhere, the market is booming, and we have more mobile gamers and PC gamers or console gamers, for sure. But in the same time, we are no longer talking about the teenager plays, players that are playing zombie games in their, in their rooms, okay? We know that the hyper-casual, even the mid-core and casual gamers are women. They are a bit older than the traditional PC or console gamers, so they can be really attractive for the brands. And this is data that is coming from our um, data set, so it's based on, um, uh, I think on this one, it's based on 40 million profiles where we compared uh, 50 different apps and the gender and age on those apps to really understand uh, the profiles, the unique profiles of each category of games. We can see here, of course, that the hyper-casual games have more women than the mid-core games. I say of course because it's something that instinctively we would have thought, but here we have data to back this up, and we can see that the um, casual gamers are a bit older than the mid-core gamers uh, in this example. So, this is the kind of data we have access to, and it shows that you have in your games users that are attractive to brands again, and it's a real challenge. This slide comes from Iron Source. It shows that budgets in hyper-casual games 
remain the same. There is no growth. And it shows that the hyper-casual games advertisers are the biggest advertisers in hyper-casual games. And we all know that it's a challenge. We, all, we are all talking about attracting the brands in our game. We know that it's something that we have to do because of the fatigue as well. We know that in, our, in, in your games, the users are very often exposed to the same kind of ad for the same games and something that we all want to change. The data, the unique data that we have allows you to get access to those brands. It's a challenge and it's, it's really today, it's, um, it's key really in the monetization strategy of your game to be able to diversify the sources of ad revenue and not to work only with other games, but to be able to have a proportion, not 100%, but to start to have a, a bigger proportion of brands advertising in your games. Sorry. And when I say brands, this is a kind of campaign that we run at Augury, so I'm not talking about just app install games without the CTA, I'm talking about like uh, video um, interstitial branding. So this is just a couple of examples for, um, we've got Bose, we've got um, Microsoft, Coca-Cola, Red Bull. This is the kind of brands we work with. Um, and you can see on the uh, two left hand examples here that we based on the data that we have on the user. So we are going only to expose the user that are interested in the brand. And the engagement rate is much higher with these kind of ads. Uh, than with the other, of course, ads, and, that's, and the CPMs are, of course, much higher as well. And it's also very different, and it, it changes the perception of your games. Again, instead of saying hundreds of times the same ad in the game, the user starts to see um, ads for uh, brands that they know and that they see on TV. The way we manage to do that is because we understand the app universe of each app. This is an example for um, an app called the uh, World Garden. So I don't remember exactly this one. It's not from my school. It's World. I'm sorry about the name of this one. I missed it. But it's a world game. And you see that the players that use this world, this world game are using a lot of other games, of course, but they also read the times. And it shows you that a user that is playing a game is not only play, playing games and that it can be uh, really, again, interesting for any kind of brands and that instead of advertising only on the news apps, the, brand, the brands, the global brands, should also advertise in games. This unique data that we have on the users that we manage to convince the brands and to make $100 million of revenue only on brand advertising, because Augury is not at all for now uh, offering any app install campaigns. So all the revenue that we make is based on uh, brand campaigns um, that are exactly the same, the kind of examples that I showed you in the previous slides. So real brand campaigns, uh, that we run into any kind of apps, including games, of course. So this is an example of App Universe. This is something that is free of access, again, on Active Insight, that you can see for your own games, and you've got all the filters uh, per period, per uh, whatever um, information you want, to, you want to filter them. And this is just an example of some brands, we, we, a list of some brands we've been working with. So again, 100% uh, of the revenues that we make at Augury is based on brands, and more than 80% of those brands are running into games. So that's been a challenge for all the game developers to be able to attract brands, and Augury is finally allow allowing you as a game developer to, to, to run those brand campaigns for real. The last thing, of course, because we are talking about data, is how you can gather the data and how you can do this in, into a GDPR compliant way. Uh, GDPR has been passed a couple of months ago now, but we see, and I'm sure you see as well, that some um, game developers, and not only game developers, any kind of app developers, are not always following strictly the rules of GDPR, if you can say that. It's strategic and it's very vital for you to be able to understand how you can optimize the constant rate because you need to do it in a proper way and just a big OK button is not legally compliant with GDPR. So it's something that you need to change as a game developer. All the uh, CMP, all the constant management platforms that you have in the games that have only one button saying, yes, I accept, yes, I want to play, are not GDPR compliant which means that all the data that you have, all the partners that you have in your app, if your um, consents are gathered in this way, 
is not GDPR compliant, which can, of course, cause some troubles in the future. So what we offer to our publishers, this is just an example of a very blank and, and the most simple um, consent notice that we can display. Everything can be customized in the platform, added, uh, changing the colors, adding um, a logo and whatever. And this is just um, an example of a real uh, GDPR compliant consent notice. I refuse and accept all, where you see all the purposes of the data collection. And this is something that we provide for free again to our publishers so they can gather the data for all their partners, add partners, but also uh, tracking uh, partners. And all the uh, uh, developers that are using this platform can customize again, add a logo, add an image, change the text, uh, customize uh, the buttons, or they can also let our uh, dynamic uh, creative optimization optimize the colors and the button to make sure that the opt-in rate is as, as high as possible, of course, remaining GDPR compliant. And, and you can track in the platform the, um, I don't have a screen here, sorry, but you can track, of course, the opt-in rate per app, per asset, per day. You can decide how frequently you want to re-expose the users who say no, data collection, the message that you want to display if they say no, to re-expose them and for, to make sure that they understand that it's vital for you uh, as a game publisher to gather data to monetize the game. And this is um, the way we collect data to agree for us to be able to attract brands, but also to share the data that you show in Active Insight and to make sure that we optimize the revenue for our publishers. So we've been experts in collecting consented data since 2014, and now the platform is available to all the publishers who want to uh, optimize the consent notice while uh, GDPR compliant. Just in a nutshell, this is what we call our uh, blueprint. At Augury, just to, uh, to finish on the presentation, everything starts with a consent notice. So everything starts with a consent manager. We have approximately 50% of the users who say yes to the consent notice. It shows that it's not forced. It shows that it's real consent, that the user really has the choice to say no and to say yes. Once we've got the consent of the user, we collect raw signals. It means that the data that we have access to is generated by our um, um, algorithm. We don't have access to the data directly. Um, it's probabilistic based on the raw signals that we see uh, from, the, from the data that we collect. So we generate the data and we provide insights to the publishers and to the brands. Active Insight is a platform that is for any app developer, but also for the brands. So the Coca-Cola, uh, Bose, Nike uh, are also using this kind of platform to better understand their users. The users who use their apps, but also the users who visit their websites, because we know the browsing history of the users who consented to share that. And once we've got the insight and we share that, we use that to optimize the user engagement of the brands we work with, so for the brands to activate user engagement, and also, of course, to provide intelligent monetization to the publishers we work with. So this is, in a nutshell, how you can better uh, leverage data to optimize your ad revenue, to better understand your users, and to attract brands in your games. Thank you very much. Great, thank you very much for that. Um, can sneak in a couple of questions. Uh, does anyone have any? There's a question at the back. Ah, do you want to? Uh, Louis, let me come and give you a mic. So, wait a second. Sorry. Hi. You mentioned GDPR compliancy, but I didn't see anything to allow the user to forget what information you have, and I also didn't see anything for them to be able to download the information they have, and that's part of GDPR compliance. Uh, let me show, let me come back to an example of the ads. So in every ad that we display, there is a button in the, there is a button in the bottom of the screen that allows the user to opt, opt out. That's a white banner here on, the, on those two examples. That's also a screen that all the app developers, that we, we provide the API for that, and all the apps add that in the settings of their apps. Of course, we don't do the design of the apps, so in every ad that we display, there is this button to opt out, and then it's, it's to the app developers to opt out and to, and to opt out and to ask to erase the data. Of course, 
Yeah, so, every, so if you go on augury.com slash privacy, you can ask and get the data that we've got on, okay. on your uh, Android Advertiser ID. Great, and thanks for that, because I think that's an important thing. We want to be able to have assurance that we're doing things appropriately. And you know, as long as we're doing the best we can, uh, and we're within the legal system, that's great. And I think the fact that you've got the tools there to make it easier for developers to do it, that's great too.